Scientists have seen the light, and it is new. It's about time they've seen the light. Come on. Science alert. Physicists just discovered a totally new form of light. Science alert. There's no reason to be alerted, because a new form of light is awesome. Stay cool. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. This is space. There's space all over the place. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. So does the new light travel faster than light? Yeah, it does. I've been telling people for years. Man, stuff travels faster than light. You're just too slow. Get it. Ha. <laughs> Did you hear? Physicists have just discovered a totally new form of light. Dun dun dun. Science, comma, always keeping us on our toes. I wouldn't say science keeps me on my toes. Maybe on my laptop. Science keeps me on a list. Science is like... Soap opera for the mind. And did you hear there's water on Mars? Physicists have just discovered a new form of light that doesn't follow our existing rules of angular momentum. And it could shake up our understanding of the electromagnetic radiation and lead to faster, more secure optical communication. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I couldn't read that without laughing. You are an excellent optical communicator. What does it mean? They made this massive discovery and they're um, trying to let their funding people know that they're going to use it for more secure optical communication. Wait, wait, wait. Can you feel that? It's the existing rules of angular momentum being shaken up. Oh, it used to be a constant. It used to be a constant. Yeah, it's not. A what used to be a constant? In the angular momentum of light. So it like it travels a path. It rotates as it goes. The amount it would rotate down the path was the angular momentum that was a constant. But it's not a constant anymore. You're saying light is a bow shock of the photon? Wait, so if light travels along a path and it has a constant speed, even when it hits the water and take a right? No. So it's like, that's what they're saying. It's like a constant speed through a vacuum. They have to realize that like the vacuum's not empty. There's an interstellar medium. There's clouds. There's local fluff. There's bubbles. There's asteroids. There's planets. There's people. So every time it hits something, it's going to change its speed. But they were saying, for the most part, you know, that these things were constants and they're and they're not. Many things can slow it down, but they never thought anything could speed it up. They never met you, and you're very exciting. All my protons are charged right now. Okay, so if we got a new type of light, should we have some more colors? Yeah, I've been waiting for one to show up. I've already had them in my dreams, we just haven't had them here. Somebody's like, how do you describe that color? Yeah. I'll be okay. What's it look like? It looks like music, but different. Light is everywhere. Yeah. Except in the darkness. Even there, it's there. We just can't see it because it's not in the visible spectrum. What, the Philly Lander? Yeah, the Philly Lander is in the darkness. And no, no light <sighs> can reach it. it were... It's that joke. Oh yeah, I'm seeing the story in a brand new light. You are, no. I think with the Philly Lander, though, real quick, I think they were hoping for some electrostatic discharge, like what happened on Mars. Wow, you light up my life. Wait, what was electrostatically discharging things? Uh, the dust on Mars. It was like basically like static that would recharge the solar panels. The second rover they had up there was only supposed to make it like 90 days or something, and it made it like 10 years. So in the Christian dis theory, it's not really gravity that pulls it all together. It's magnetics. Maybe, yeah. Electricity. It would help more. The theory worked more. No, like if you just had these giant magnets that pulled themselves. No, it still doesn't work. Giant magnets that create the sun, is it? It'd be like, I'm going to create myself like this. And then I'm going to have all this shit. And then it's going to be able to have cars and horses and beautiful you. Optical. What is optical communication? Well, let's find out. Fundamental new property of light. Does light own property? Okay, so they found a new light. It's everywhere. Because of how well studied and well everywhere light is. You might assume that we pretty much learnt. Learnt. Learnt it. I learnt it at all, oh. man. I learned it everything. I learned it everything there is to know about light. I'm, Twice. I'm a light master. <laughs> Doubled square to infinity. Plus one. And that one is you, baby. And you guys too, but no. I mean, you can... Wait, what? Fudge word. But just last year, researchers identified a fundamental new property of light, and now a team of Irish scientists has shown that light can take on unexpected new forms. One of the ways we measure a beam of light is with a stopwatch in carbon dating. And that beam of light is really old. Did you know you get older the faster you angular momentum? Really, so slow down and retain your beauty, beam of light. Light is instantaneous, a constant quantity that measures how much light is rotating. Wait, what? You read it, and maybe I can understand it better. One of the ways we measure a beam of light is through its angular momentum, a constant quantity that measures how much light is rotating. And until now, it was thought that for all forms of light, that angular momentum would be a whole number known as an integer, multiple of Planck's constant, a physical constant that sets the scale of quantum effects. I think you said that one word wrong. It's integer. 
Wait, integer, 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 integer. What did I say? Integer. No. Okay. Uh, integer. No, see, <laughs> integer, integer. Known as an integer. 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 Egg. Planks. You just want to make fun of me. That's why you want me to read. No, I want to make fun of Planck's constant. Planck's constant what? Bitchin? Ooh. No, long drawn out explanations. A physical constant that sets the scale of quantum effects. I cannot quantify the quantum effects your love has on me. So wait, did they just break all of the scale of quantum effect? Well, I think Planck's constant was already broken. But researchers led by Trinity College Dublin have now demonstrated that a new form of light... Wait, wait, what? They've demonstrated that a new form of light exists? Where is this? I would like to see this new light. Did they make a hologram out of it? Is he dancing and singing? Is it, is it she? I don't mean to... If they've demonstrated a new form of light, where? In like the vaults of the Vatican? We demonstrate to the Pope and his three closest friends. Plus, a guy named Vinny. And yeah, dude, it is there. There's a new form of light. It's way more awesome than that. Don't let me be this and butt-headed it up, dickweed. What I think is so exciting about this result is that even the fundamental property of light, physicists have always thought was fixed, can be changed. Yeah. Let's back up for a second here and explain what it all means. As one of the researchers, Kylie Valentine, explains, a beam of light is characterized by its color or wavelength and a less familiar quantity known as angular momentum. Angular momentum measures how much something is rotating. For a beam of light, although traveling in a straight line, it can also be rotating around its own axis. So when light from the mirror hits your eye in the morning, every photon twists your eye a little one way or another. When the light hits your eye from the morning mirror sky. That's twisting photons. So wait, when I look at the mirror, the photons in my eyes are twisting, but what happens when I look at you? You excite my photons in every way. As mind-bending as that might sound, it's all well understood by physicists. <laughs> oh yeah, there have been many tests. But what they didn't realize was that light could exist that had an angular momentum that wasn't a whole number. Wait, what? All right, we got a candle on this table right here. I'm trying to figure out how you can bust that candle down into a number. Wait, I got a video. They just broke quantum mechanics. To figure this out, the team passed light through crystals to create beams of light that had a twisted screw-like structure. They were looking for new light behaviors that might improve optical communications. But when they analyzed... Analyzed? When they analyzed... They analyzed. But when they analyzed this particular beam within the theory of quantum mechanics, it looked as though its angular momentum would be a half number, which definitely wasn't what they'd expect to find. No, I got a good question. Yeah. Let's go back. Slow down. To my question. Okay, I just videotaped with my phone the candle we have going as we do this. Now, how are you going to bust that flame down to a number? Like, what do math and fire have to do with each other? That's how they talk. They talk in math. That's their language. So they break everything down into an equation, into a number. I know, but that's my problem, is that, for lack of a better example, that sometimes, like, science breaks down boobs, breasts, into math. And it's like, no, 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 they're breasts, they're boobs. You can't break breasts down into math. I mean, you can't, but like, like light, light and boobs, if you're doing too much studying. Like, if you're, if you're doing, somehow combining a whole lot of geometry and algebra and, uh, wait, what is the big one? Damn it. Trig, if you're combining trigonometry, geometry, boobs, and university grants, you know, for more than like three hours, you are definitely wasting people's money. I think it's whatever's related to geodesy. They were a good band. Were they a band? Yeah, Jodeci? Hell yeah. Sometimes I wonder about what this stuff is. Yeah, but the cavity is oscillating. A hypothetical electrically charged oscillator in a cavity that contained black body radiation. Uh-oh. No, that's where dark matter came from. It's idealized physical body that absorbs all incident electromagnetic radiation. Oh my god. That is the thing that came out of the dark ages. Dark matter. And dark energy science. Hey, did you hear there's water on Mars? Water on Mars, baby. There's water on Mars, bitches. We're gonna talk about Mars for 20 more years. To figure this out, the team passed light through crystals to create beams of light that had a twisted screw-like structure. Wait, what? They were looking for a new light. They were looking for new light behaviors that might improve optical communications. They wanted their Huffington Post with more pixels. But when they analyzed this particular... Let me see, they wanted to see boobs in higher <laughs> definition. <laughs> there you go. 4K boobs, please. I want 7K boobs. Nope, I got them. Man, I would like to have a job where I can look for new light behaviors. Can we see this new light? No. I don't Wait, know. I want a picture of this new light. You can't photograph it because it's dark matter new light from Planck. And he, that dude is constant. 
inventing a particle that connects the Big Bang with now. And it's way less expensive than CERN. They then came up with an experiment to test this prediction. No, it's a prediction that was mathematically proven in their formula, so they found new light in their calculator. Lasers since the 80s. See, they've been looking at Star Wars program. Particle possibility. Peace. Peace particles. Peace lasers. Maybe we found peace lasers that are going to lead to faster, safer internet connections. Yeah, that's all this is for. Safer, faster internet communication, optical communication. It's all communication. And so you're telling me that science is basically using this to pitch a commercial to Comcast and Time Warner Cable to give them more money for faster... I don't think it's for them. But yeah. Yeah, you're right, because I don't think Time Warner Cable's that word that I'm getting the best bang for my buck. The biggest impact, other than shaking but understanding light, is that this new information could help to improve speed and... See? It's all whole, like a... It's a commercial. It's an ad. We just got suckered into an ad. I told you. Oh, crap. This isn't even the Huffington Post. This was a science <laughs> alert, damn it. I did, I did try to tell you that that's what's going to happen at the end. Sweet. My brain is like a basket of stars that has an angular momentum that goes fast, slow, and every which way but loose. Except when I'm just chilling. We appreciate you guys for hanging out, listening, and learning nothing about life. And sometimes it's science. Sometimes it's just a corporate commercial disguised as science. Those jerks! Corporations broke into your locker and they smashed your glasses. GPS domination all over the globe. Now, this is being beamed to you from the stratus ball. Plus, spin angular momentum through the center of mass of the object. Ooh, you spin me right round, baby. Right round, like a record player. Angular momentum in euros. Whoa. External torque. Linear momentum. Let's just scream out science words. You should put it in a game. Timeline. Angular velocity. Formulations. Moment of inertia. Rate of change. Poss- I went out of turn. Aw, oh, dude. I, I lose. Was, I was gonna say cap, cap problem. problem. The falling stars cap problem of neutron stars with high precessional rates on top of Giro Compass's controlling movement. Oh my god, I screwed it's it all up. so much better to listen to you read this. Flying discs are frisbees and Earth's rotation. The OR clouds are frisbee, man. Made of ice cream. Well, yeah, you should have said comets were, uh, instead of dirty snowballs, they're like flaming ice cream. Scoops. Dude, like which angular momentum did they break? The one in two dimensions? Uh, the one from, Le- say it, maybe. Lagrange? Mechanisms. Lagrangian. Or, yeah, or momentum, angular momentum in three dimensions. Which, Whoa. It's like, which one did they break? They're not even saying, I haven't even found the white paper on it. This doesn't exist until I find a white paper. Remember the great star samurai ends all wars. Without a single drop of blood. All right, we're done. Peace out. We're bowing right now. We bow to you. Let love rule.